before I put it back together. I just want to just want to see what it does without the top on it. So if you want to see what happens in the washing machine while it's exposed, here we go. Yeah, that thing is shaking. Hey, my name is Brad. Welcome to my channel. You could say this is part two for the washing machine. Uh, about a year ago, I kind of did the same thing. I had an F301 problem. I went in, cleaned the filter, and checked the hoses and all that. I'll leave that video. Uh, I'll, I'll add a card up here, or and it'll also be in the description. Recently, this error has popped back up again. So, I am... Scout, hush! All right. So... Recently this error has popped up again. I am going in and troubleshooting it. I'm going to show you where the actual sensor is located. So I took off the top already. I've also took off the back. How to do that will be in the other video. It's not very hard. There's also a manual up under the lid of the washer, which will kind of give you a description of uh, codes and things like that. But the sensor is located right here so if you're facing a washer it's like top right hand there's a cord that comes out and i hear noise oh, dog's getting water okay all right so there's a yellow cord goes into like the control center of the washing machine where all the wires are hooked to show you how complicated it is i can't even open it to see if it's connected correctly because this is in the way. All right. Uh, actually, just check to see if the filter, which is located right there, there's a filter at the bottom. And I've gotten a lot of people say that most washers, you can access the filter from the front. But on this one, you have to take off the back, which kind of sucks. But uh, we have a new dog since I've changed since I've made the last video and there's a lot more dog hair in the filter. So I don't know if this is going to kind of do it this time or not. I also checked drain hose. I also did these two things in the other video. So please check that out. One easy way to troubleshoot this problem is to just simply unplug it, leave it unplugged for a few minutes and check it that way. Um, another way is to uh, check the air hose, which I did. There's a black air hose here. It goes all the way down. Make sure it's not crinkled up or anything like that. I took it off. It's not clogged or bent or anything like that. But this is like the air pressure hose. Um, and it connects to this piece right here. I mean, nothing feels clogged. So, you know, I'm going to hook it back up and see. I am not an electrician. These are just simple ways to check to see if it works or not. So if you need to chain, check the pipes, the, um, I think in the, in the last video, I did check this pipe here and unclog, un, it wasn't clogged, but I unhooked it. This is a, the other part of the drain hose only today. I did only just run a hose through this one, the one that comes out of the washer, but Man, these kind of problems suck, right? <laughs> if you think these problems suck, please leave a comment below. And um, that's all I got for now. Check to see if it works because I'm about to put everything back together. And if it works, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and I hope you don't have to deal with this kind of stuff because this stuff's a problem. <laughs> Hope these simple fixes work for you and you don't have to replace anything. I think my next step, if this continues to be a problem, is just to replace the air sensor I just showed you. But again, one last look. It's right there. It's a little piece. And this is helpful. This was in the roof of the, or the roof. This was in the top panel on the washing machine. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. Short and sweet today. But, um... See you in the next one. All right, I decided to try something real quick. I'm going to leave the top off and the back off 
I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna see if it works before I put it back together. I just wanna just wanna see what it does without the top on it. So if you wanna see what happens in the washing machine while it's exposed, here we go. Alright, so far so good. Alright, that should be a, just a normal. Alright. Doors locked. See, that's the noise. I don't know what that noise is. That is just a weird noise. Okay, it's filling up water. Oh, look at that. It's got like shocks on it. sliding back here try to position these all right so that's spinning you got the water that comes in through here I can feel the water coming through this hose right here and that one all right so it goes through here looks like it comes through here got the probably some water that gets the detergent from here and takes it to the tub must be for like overflow appears to be or air that's where air goes okay so all right that is just simply for air to escape definitely some warm water coming in suspension rock yeah baby all right yeah four shock absorbers all right just uh, all right looks good all right you know I'm going to go ahead and tell you I don't know if it's fixed um, but it, it's working um, this is kind of the same thing that happened about a year ago uh, it was a F301 um, error, but so I just went in, troubleshooted some things, and it's been working for pretty consistently about a year. That was a few times that it did give me that error code again. I just unplugged it, but I've been unplugging it the past few days, and it just not wanted to start at all. So um, I've been doing research, probably just like you were doing. All right, well. This is how a washer works when it's naked. All right. Thanks for watching today. Oh. Lighting's horrible back here. All right. Thanks for watching today. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I have a lot of home improvement stuff, but I also have a lot of fitness stuff here on my channel. And, you know, YouTube's been an awesome journey, so keep, keep me going. Let's go. Hit the subscribe button. See you next time. All right. You got to see this. some more light. You gotta think it's shaking.